Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In this video, let's do a recap of the first ranking event in Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. So this ended up being pretty fun, but also had some headaches attached to it as well. Here's a screenshot I took in the final minute before the event closed. And I'm actually pretty stoked on this score and this rank. I got the top 100 I was going for and I was getting really nervous at the end because I previously had a score of, I think it was 2.37 million. And when I looked at the cutoff for top 100, it was like 2.35. Like I would have been rank 97. I would have been biting my nails at the end there. So I did get this one really super clean run in the final two hours or so. And I'm going to share that in this video. But also wanted to share some thoughts about it. So first of all, the ranking content in this game comes in the form of a crisis dungeon. Which is, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool game mode. It's kind of like the all-encompassing RPG experience. It's like you're actually playing a console RPG, right? You have to actually run around and go to chests and find all the chests and pick them up. You have random encounter battles and then bosses that you run into. Typically, from what I'm used to in other gotchas, it would just be the bosses. Now, I wouldn't totally mind that. It would be a lot more convenient because one of uh, my, my gripes with this is that the slightest thing can go wrong and then you have to do the whole thing again. Like all the walking, everything, uh, every boss in the order that you want to do. And that's kind of cool in one way because it makes it, you know, there's a lot of more factors and there, it's not just like, you know, steamrolling a battle that you just clicked on a menu to enter. But man, was that frustrating? And I think uh, the developers need to figure out the server overload or whatever is happening because Right when the event launched, there were all sorts of instances of me just completely losing control of the battle, um, especially on the behemoth boss. And then it happened again in the final two hours. And it was very frustrating. Uh, th th here's one thing that happened. It was just <laughs> so unforgivable how, how much this frustrated me because I just needed to get my run and good God, oh, look at this. And then what actually happened is, so I went and stopped recording and came back. And then at that point, Lucia wasn't dead and Sephiroth's diamond dust was gone, but it hadn't been cast. And I just had to retire the run at that point. And so, I, I'm thinking it's just because it's so overloaded. So many people are playing the event at the same time, and maybe the developers just aren't ready for that much volume. But I really hope they get that worked out because nothing is more frustrating, you know, than doing this run that takes, you know, 15 minutes or maybe just under 15 minutes, depending on how fast you can clear it. Uh, I'm sure the, the mega whales are clearing it way faster, eight minutes maybe. But, uh, that it's already the case that something tiny could go wrong, even a misclick, my, my finger, like I switched the characters and clicked to the wrong materia, and which is my fault, but the slightest thing can make it go wrong and then you're just trying to do a run and then it glitches out that hard. So, whew, okay, so. <laughs> in any case, uh, here's the team I used. This is pretty typical. I did pull for all of Sephiroth's and Lucia's gear that was geared towards the event. Obviously she has the ice resist down weapon. And in her subs, I just picked something that would boost her HP. I kind of, I don't have too many weapons for her. Again, this is early game. So a lot of my materia is not optimized either. That's one thing I haven't had a lot of time to really go super hard on. Uh, Aerith has the typical like healing weapon main and there are several options you can use for her subs, but I, I, I experimented with the, uh, the defense buffing weapon, but went back to the uh, umbrella 
for the debuffs, which is really nice for speeding up the damage. And then Sephiroth, I did get lucky to get that Aonibi weapon that buffs his magic damage, and it's so OP. The buff lasts for so long, especially uh, at those two overboosts. And yeah, so the, uh, the fire material there on Seph, actually, that's like my only really good materia. Like it, it rolled magic, magic attack percentage plus five or something like that. And then it actually ended up being useful for the three guard fight. Of course, he has um, a, a blizzard materia as well, which works good in some cases, even though he's got that great nuke on his weapon. For one, we all know it's super slow, but also sometimes it's you can get more DPS by spamming a short animation that only takes a three ATB and uh, in certain battles or you know maybe finishing a battle. And we'll see that in a moment. Lucia's Materia, she has a Blizzard Blow to help with ice damage and then a proper sigil. And if you'll notice, I have um, a physical sigil on Seth because that behemoth had that counter gimmick. And you might be wondering why I have the Earth Materia on Aerith. It's just kind of there for stats. And then she also has uh, the, the Ruin Materia that is magic based. So when that time comes, if I'm trying to interrupt that behemoth, then I would just switch to Aerith and control her to make sure she doesn't cast that because Lucia and Seth could break him down just fine. However, I think in my in my run that we're about to see, I think they successfully cleared the behemoth before that phase even started, which is so clutch, so nice. Now, the main thing here is that I maxed uh, Diamond Dust and Hellfire on the summons. And to me, that was almost mandatory for being able to beat Reno. And let me tell you that that Shiva very hard battle, it was very hard. <laughs> I just, I'm surprised I even cleared it because I would attempt it and feel like I wasn't even close. And I thought that I had to bring like a magic attack debuff or something like that and ended up DPSing it with a fire cloud and a fire Sephiroth and then an Aerith healer support. So that's how I did Shiva, and of course there are plenty of videos out there on the subject. Speaking of which, you know, just commenting on being a, a YouTuber for this game, it's definitely different from what I'm used to, and of course we have a lot of like 20k, 30k YouTubers that are just going hard and making every single possible video. So I kind of pulled back a little bit to try to, you know, just find my, my niche, and it just, I kind of don't care, I just want to make content for this game at my own pace, play the game at my own pace. And that's why I'm doing a recap of the event because, uh, you know, I may not have been there to share the, the strategies for you while you were battling it, but I at least want to share the run that I'm so stoked on. So why don't we get right into that? And I want to give a huge thank you to Young Jesus, who many of you know was a near, re uh, near reincarnation YouTuber as well. Hangs out my Discord, and he reached out, offered a lot of help, even did a, a voice call with me, and you know, to where he could look at my account, and then also offered some help sharing his own builds and videos. So Young Jesus was uh, one one of the biggest. Uh, influences in my score here. So, thanks, young Jesus. Okay, so versus the Condor, I went ahead and applied the Ice Resist, and now, as you see, I'm just spamming Sephiroth's Lazara because it's quicker, and I just want that thing to die before it gets to use that skill. So, really simple fight here. Kunin. And then, you know, there was this kind of like error exploit thing, so I, I took that score boost. I'm going to head straight for the three guards next. We can expect to run into a random encounter, and that'll give me a chance to heal if I need to, and build up 
some summons. Skip a bit. Oh, okay. We're going. We're going. So I'm just kind of on defense mode and letting the other two, you know, use whatever skills that they're going to use. Sometimes I don't catch Seth, and I didn't really care about that magic buff. I don't know. The magic, the magic buff still works out. But because it takes so much time, and then, then you have to replenish, sometimes I'd rather just start the damage. Kind of like when I'm farming and a Cactor comes up. I'm like, yeah, just stop buffing yourself. Just let me start the damage. I gotta kill this thing before it runs away, right? So, despite my complaints earlier, this is really cool, you know, it's, uh, again, it's this whole experience, like, as if I'm playing FF7. Pretty interesting for a ranking event to be this design. Right, I'm gonna head over here, and I think I chugged a fire cocktail so that Lucia can use that Ifrit summon and damage them most of the way. We'll see how that goes here. Yeah, it's not even ready yet, actually. I've had runs where it's just ready to go right, right at the start, so this is just all RNG between the, the previous battles. Otherwise, I have Seth buffed, and I just... Yeah, here we go. I want to get that in before they act, because I know I'll at least kill that middle one that I started damaging. Ooh, very nice. I'm definitely going to save that diamond dust for the behemoth. Make sure I'm healed up. And uh, this one is going a little slower than, than I would have liked. But, you know, overall, I, I did better than I, I thought I would, and I was really, I just had no idea how I would measure up being a dolphin. And Spender, you'd think I would have a pretty good advantage. I think that's going to change by n the next ranking event. Yeah, here I'm definitely going to go for the break, the interrupt. I think by the next ranking event, it will have given the player base at large more time to kind of catch up. You know, this is the first one, so not everyone has, like, grinded, has no life to the game from day one, and not everyone's a whale. So it was kind of easy to have an advantage over people that just straight up just haven't had time to build their accounts up. Where, like, the next ranking event, most likely it'll be two months in, and all those people will have caught up. I think the competition's going to be a lot more fierce next time. Just my prediction. So here, this is the broken thing, uh, magic <laughs> attack B. It was supposed to be uh, like a defense buff, and it ended up being a magic buff, and then they just left it. They're like, well, you know, we can't fix it at this point. So I definitely grabbed that, which allows you to kind of make up for the penalty later, and the penalty I took at the beginning. My first attempt at this, I went for that that score boost at the beginning, and then didn't. I was really out of it that day. I didn't really notice that there was like the damage penalty, and I was just dying, 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 and I just could not even complete the dungeon. Couldn't even. Uh, I don't think I could even get past the behemoth, but I was also doing all the bosses in order, which just my brain just naturally thinks that's what I should do, and the thanks to everyone out there that run like infinite tests and figure out like no we can mix up the order and actually there's a lot of strategy there. which you know makes the event a lot more in depth anyway and uh, it's just taken me a little bit to warm up to these crisis dungeons as you could see earlier my my tickets are always almost max because 
And when you play one, it's just like, you have to be there and attend it. And uh, that's fine. That's playing the game, you know? You want to play a game and not just farm idly forever. But being a gacha player, I'm just so used to being the idle farmer type that... Uh, you know, for example, I'm probably way ahead of most on my weapon upgrades because I will just spam those cube and pod stages. All right, the behemoth battle, the dreaded. This is the boss that typically gives people the most trouble, aside from Reno, most likely. That dragon was pretty easy. Pretty surprising that the, the dragon was so easy. Good, I got all my summons ready. I just want to make sure I get buffed up, and yeah, let's just go ahead and pop this and... And I was just kind of like, oh, thank God, because the last time you saw what happened, it just froze. I couldn't even tap. I couldn't even play the game. Literally unplayable. And that was cool. It put Behemoth in such a, a place where I was able to burst him down after. I'm pretty sure. Let, I'm gonna. I'm gonna watch here and remember. I don't think he even got to that uh, alert stage. And here I'm using Sephiroth's weapon skill instead because the slow animation is kind of worth the extra damage here. And you can see I'm sinking that HP bar pretty quickly. I just wish uh, the AI was casting Lucia's um, Ice Crush. Maybe had I not been panicking so much. So now you see I'm switching to his Materia because there's only a shred left. The AI would probably do something stupid like waste time buffing and then the Behemoth would have got a skill off. So, yeah, put it on semi and control the battle. When it when it gets like difficult like this, you really got to be in control. But you can see I, I could have controlled it more. I could have had a little more confidence. Switch over to Lucia. Okay, here I'm going for that score boost. Yep. Switch over to Lucia, cast that Ice Resist down. That would have sped it up even more. Okay, now for the, um... God, what is she called? Something Gash Queen. This is one of my least favorite bosses. But for some reason, leaving her until second to last, I was still able to, like, handle the battle just fine, and I'm gonna go ahead and use some items here. See people free to play, like coming through and owning the bosses harder than I am using less items. So, hey, you know, <laughs> congrats to you, but this is what I needed to do. I feel like I needed to do at least to pass it. Pass it. So I'm going to go ahead and take out those mobs. I'm not using any of my AoE summons here, so I'm going to take out these mobs first. A real pain. And they go down so quick. So, yeah, now, like, look at that. All those, like, like, uh, the damage boost and all that is really showing here. Like, the damage is just happening very quickly. And, you know, it's partly thanks to those debuffs and the buff. But I am going to go ahead and break and control Aerith here, because I know Seth and Lucia are going to act. Where if I leave Aerith on AI, yeah, so now I can be like, yeah, I want to heal now. Switch it over, make sure, because Aerith was almost going to die. One frustrating thing was I'd be in this situation where I'd be almost dying and it would like enter the alert stage of Behemoth. And I want to heal, and I want to switch to defense to heal, or just defense just so I can survive because the behemoth is attacking you throughout. And, um, but then the AI wouldn't use the sigils on the other two. Yep, and then another score boost here. Actually made quite a difference. Great, straight to Reno. Let's finish this off here. Once again, I want to make sure everyone has their max HP because Reno can hit super hard. And I'm going to chug some uh, Blizzard cocktails. Everyone's ATB looks good, so I'm not going to use any ethers. Lucia and Seth get the ice buff, and I'm so happy with the way the start of this run went. 
Could have been slightly better had I been able to stack more ice resist down, but instead I chose to double stack Sephiroth's buff, and it's really hard to just control the two of them. And it, there were so many runs where I couldn't even get what you're about to see to happen that I was just happy to take it. Especially when I finished this and, and saw my rank and knew that I was safe in top 100, where I was nervous about my rank before that. So I want to make sure he's double stacked with his buff. It's good to go, and boom! Hitting the summons, let's see how much damage we do. I was super stoked on this. Boom! So, what was that? One, uh, I kind of missed it, but 160, 170 or so, just on Reno alone, 214 total. That's everything here. It takes the mobs out. I have Reno's health halfway depleted already. And you don't want to give him a chance to act any more than you need to because here come the skills and I was able to tank that pretty well. But the next one usually kills someone in my other runs. And of course, I'm giving advice as if the event's still going on. And this is just a recap. Just wanted to share, but of course, Reno's not leaving the game. Or we're gonna... We're gonna have him to fight in the future. Yeah, that one, the Flashfoot. And I'm kind of grateful it hit Seth somehow. I don't know if he has more HP or what the case is. I think he does have more max HP. Where that would have killed Aerith and Lucia most likely. And now it's just, he's almost dead, and it's just time to spam the skills. Ooh, I'm liking that damage. And, yeah, overall, I've been really loving this game, and all of the hard work you do is, you know, it pays off here when it comes to the ranking events. And I'm glad I don't completely hate the game mode because I was nervous about it. And in any case, there's my run. I got 1.7 on the, the score for very hard. And then as we saw, my total was 2.4, where 2.3 would have been risking it. And I'm really curious how that's going to go. <laughs> On the next ranking event, like I said, I think there's the competition is going to be way more fierce. So get to work on your account. Now that you've played this one, you, you can kind of get an idea of of where you need to spend time. For me, I know like Materia, clearing out the other Crisis Dungeons that I haven't yet. All of that stuff is next on the burner for me. And then, of course, whatever banner is released around the time of that event is going to have the stuff that you need for it. So maybe think about that when you're prioritizing your polls over the month. All right, those are my thoughts. Let me know how it went for you. I'm dying to know. Let me know in the comments. And thanks as always for the support. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet. All of that stuff helps me grow and it's much appreciated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.